Hello, my friend. How are you? Hello. Hello, hello. Talk. Yeah, just like how are you didn't pick up my call. Well, we took your call first time. You did not answer, so we thought maybe you are joking. So, what do you want to say to us, Mr. Farouz? So, let me let me first expose your lies, okay? Okay. You are using you are using fake hadith. Which one is that fake hadith? Is why, which uh, one? Which one? No, which one is fake hadith? Please, if you if you don't mind, help me. Which one of the hadith I use? It was fake. Listen, listen to me first. I'm listening, uh, listening. No, no, I'm listening, I, brother. I, I'm listening, brother. I'm listening. Which hadith I said it was fake because you just said something. You need to prove it. I'm giving you a chance to talk to me. You know, there's long line of Abdul. They want to call me too. So I need you, you to help me because maybe there's a fake hadith and maybe I do not know. And you are you are the ustad. You are the sheikh. You are the one who knows. We do not know. We want to learn from you. So which hadith I showed in the screen was fake? I'm listening, listening to you. This is the problem. I'm listening to you, but you are not listening to me. Which hadith I showed in the screen was fake hadith. Otherwise, you have to apologize for being a liar. So either you show me the fake hadith I showed you, or you apologize. Say I am an Abdullah from India. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm trying to copy Zakir Naik. A brother editor, Christian Prince, he fake hadith. And those hadith prove it to be wrong. Show me the fake hadith. Go ahead. Hmm. Which, which hadith which hadith is fake? Okay. Uh, first let me uh, let me expose you. You are not even uh, You said you said no, no you are this is why this is how we want you to expose us. You just said that. You said I'm using fake hadith. So tell me which hadith I use it was fake. Let me expose you. I'm letting you expose me. This is why I'm asking you which hadith is fake. So all what you need to do, say this hadith you showed us on screen is fake. Which one? Okay, so first let me check. Did you check? Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Cairo here. Yeah, I'm trying. We hear you from Cairo, brother. Alhamdulillah, Ramadan, Kareem, brother. Okay, where is the fake hadith? What? Hello, hello. You said I showed the fake hadith in the screen. Which one is the fake hadith? About, about the uh, breastfeeding verse. Okay, here we go. So finally, he said about, okay, let us see the breastfeeding uh, verse. Okay, let us see. Uh, okay, uh, what the hadith saying? Remind us. Okay. Hmm. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, let me tell you that uh, but the breastfeeding verse is for the orphan children. For children? Okay. Orphan, orphans. Okay, ah, for children. Yeah, for oh, okay, okay. Well, here we go. This yeah. is this is the hadith. Okay, my friend, you are a very smart person. I will learn from you, and I, uh, I really, I'm really honored to speak to someone with your knowledge. You have a very powerful knowledge. Here we go. This is the hadith of Sahih Muslim, and this is Sahih. Now I can show it to you from Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim one four five three a. The Prophet said to the women, suckle him. She said. How I can suckle can I suckle him and he is a growing up man? See, this is that that is what I told you uh, earlier. That this is a translation, and it is not an. Arabic. No problem. Here we go. I will read for you in Arabic. Do you know Arabic? Read the Arabic. Forget about the translation. Translation is not true. Read the Arabic. By the way, translation made by you, Muslim. This is a Muslim website. This is Sunnah.com. So you are saying to me that you Muslim, you give false translation, shame on you, shame on you. I will call the Islamic police no, for I you. Think. I will ask Jibril to cut your tail for lying to, to us in the translation. Now read for me in Arabic, as long as you claim the translation is false. Read for us the Arabic, here we go, it's in front of you. You, you should be a joker, you should not debate. Can only joke. Read the Arabic for me, you claim that the translation is fake, here we go. The Arabic in the front of you. Read for me. I will highlight for you the line and you read it. Go ahead. Yeah, give me the reference of the reference. You said to me the translation is wrong. Do you know Arabic? Read it in Arabic. It says, let me read it for you. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. 
فقال النبي فقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أرضعي فقالت وكيف أرضعه وهو رجل كبير دينا ورجل كبير مين a growing up man how I'm going to breastfeed him and he's a growing up man your prophet he laughed at her when she said that look she said how I can suckle him and he's a growing up man the messenger smiled and he said I know I know he's a growing up man <laughs> so what you are saying to me I'm lying why are you not showing me the reference? Are you scared or what? Oh, what do you mean show reference? I showed you Sahih, Sahih Muslim. The first thing I did, I said no, no, Sahih Muslim, no, Hadith number 1453A. Sahih Muslim, 1453A. Wait, let me check. Mm. Take, take, brother. I will post the link for you, brother, in the, in, the, in the chat so you can open it from there. Open it there. Here we go. I just posted it for you. Go ahead. Check it, check it. Hmm. By the way, I like this hadith. I like uh, breastfeeding suckling, to be honest with you. Uh, actually, I applied to convert to Islam uh, because I want to do breastfeeding for adult. I'm adult, I'm qualified for that. I have lips too. And I want to practice it every day. I mean, I will, I will, I will do, I, not, I will I, do I, nothing in I, life I, after so that I, date. I will, be on, I will be honest with you. You are not a debater. You are a joker. Okay? Who, who is the joker? The joker is the one who said it's a fake hadith and now you are running away. You are biting your tail and you are running away from the accusation. Isn't it you who said to me, this is a fake hadith? Is, isn't, it you, isn't it you who said to me, it's a fake hadith? So who is the joker? The joker is the one who ordered your mama to give her nipples to Usama. But Usama is not the son of the mama. He is the neighbor. Who is the joker? How Usama, how Usama will suck the nipple of your mama? Explain to me. Usama been living in Pakistan, in Afghanistan, and now he been ordered by Allah Messenger to suck the nipple of your mama. Explain Stop. to me what's happening. Stop. Stop changing the topic and send me. The I'm not changing the topic. It's you who mentioned to me this hadith, guys. Isn't it him who said this is the hadith about breastfeeding for adults? It was only for kids. It's a fake hadith. I will expose your lies. And that we choose. We, I am not the one who chose the topic. It was you. It, Abdul, it was you who chose it. It was you who chose this hadith, not me. Why you are now saying that you are changing the topic? Send me the reference on Skype. The reference is already there in the in the chat. Click in it. Here we go. It's in the chat. Everybody can see it. And we can give it to you from Sahih al-Bukhari. We can give it from, from any website, from any uh, uh, book you want. All of them, they agree that this is Sahih. 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 And you said that this is fake. Shame on you. Why you are saying it's fake? Are you saying your prophet is fake too? But let me tell you what happened, my friend. Because you are ashamed of your prophet, so you decide to say, this is cannot be my prophet. It have to be fake. For if this is true, that means my prophet is a perverted no, no, no. man. No. Listen, 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 listen. The reality is that there were, uh, this hadith is compiled by humans, right? It's not compiled by God. So we cannot... Compare by what? Compare what? Like, what, what, what? I don't understand. Hold on. I don't understand. Compare by what? Hadith is compiled by humans. Hey, the Quran is compiled by human too. Isn't it the Quran compiled by human? Who is Uthman? Is Uthman is God? No, no. Quran what? No, no, no. Who is the one? Who is the one who collect the Quran? The Quran itself describes itself as a Hadith. The Quran says the Quran is a Hadith, and this is Hadith. And here now we are saying that the one who collect the Hadith no. is a human. But who is the one who collect the Quran? No, no. You are, you are, you are a joker. No well, problem. Okay, I'm a, okay, you can call me. You can call me all the names you want, but everybody is laughing at your prophet, not at me. Here we go. You are in the corner, and now you are the one who accused me that this is a fake hadith. And you said to me, "Show me the reference." We showed you the reference, and the reference even said this is Sahih. We show it to you from Sahih Muslim. We show it to you from Sahih Ibn Najah. So blah 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 blah. All Muslim agree is Sahih. Why you don't agree? Because you are ashamed of your prophet. Just face it. No, I'm not ashamed. That. The, the okay, hold on, hold on. You know what? Hold on. I will change the topic just for your sake, just to help you. You are a proud Muslim. Can you prove to us? You see, we have 1,500 people watching right now. Can you show us one thing your prophet he said or did or the Quran? 
Prove to us that Muhammad is a prophet from God. Okay. Uh, see, uh, the, uh, Muhammad followed the Abrahamic law, so uh, so it is so it proves that he is a prophet of God, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, is the Abrahamic law is to give a breastfeeding for adult? Is the Abrahamic law to have sex with Aisha at the age of six? Is the Abrahamic law is the Abrahamic law is you to go is the Abrahamic law you go to your wife's son and you flirt with her? Is the Abrahamic law you say that Allah He order you to commit sin of adultery as He, he, he you must commit because this is a destiny? Is that Abrahamic law to kiss a black stone? Is that Abrahamic law to go and, and, and to, to bow down in front of the stones and to go around the stone? See, see, see you're not, you are not, not even letting me speak. You are, no, I'm letting you speak. You are the one who say, I ask you, what is the proof that Muhammad is a prophet of God? You said to me, he is following Abraham, but Abraham did not do anything of those shameful stuff. The, most, most of the thing you mentioned, it is from Hadith, it is not from Quran. What do you mean it's from and Quran? Okay, hold on. It's not from Quran. Okay, hold on. Guys, it's not from the Quran. Let me ask you. If I am claiming to be a prophet now, and I say, any woman she want to give herself for me to sleep with her, is that from God or from me? What do you think? No, no, no. no. I, I, I know this word. I saw this word in one of No the problem, no problem, Abdul. Listen, I want you to answer me. Be, be, be honest. I will, make a, I, will, I will make a statement saying, anyone she want to give herself to me, so I can sleep with her. Okay, is that from God or this is from me? Uh, listen, I saw this verse. Uh, uh, these, see, there were a lot of women uh -huh. who lost their husband on war. Okay, no problem. A lot of women right now, a lot of women in Iraq right now, they lost their husband. So I'm going to make a verse that says, any women from Iraq, from Somalia, from Syria, from America, from Canada, who lost her husband, come to my door. This is my address. Knock it three times. If you have no panty, knock it twice. If you have panty, knock once. If you are ugly, so I will not open the door. I mean, okay. How that can be from God? I, I already told you you're a joker. What is your joker, your joker, joker? If they are a person who, they are women who, they are widows, he should help them, support them without sleeping with them. Are you saying to me now, Muhammad, he was doing this because he want to sleep with all the women who lost their husband? He have thousands of men, they lost their husbands. See, uh, sleeping, sleeping with women, uh, is not only, uh, women also desire to sleep, right? So ah, okay, I get you now. So you are saying those Muslim women, they are very horny and they are very excited and the Prophet, he want to help them. Is it, it, it's, it's called a sex charity. <laughs> so Muhammad, he opened sex charity department. Any woman, she is, <clears throat> you know, hot. Uh, you know, you have a uh, heat. So come to the Prophet, knock at his door and the Prophet will do boom, boom with you. And this is only a privilege for the Prophet. Is that correct? So see uh, what? It, see what? Um, Why Allah He gave Muhammad the privilege is about about his penis. What kind of a privilege? Only the Prophet have the privilege. What about the Muslims? Why Allah did not say any woman she want to give herself to Abdul like you, he can have sex with her. You just say there's many women they lost their husband. So Muslim they can do that too. They can help in the mission. Why this privilege is only for the Prophet penis? Okay. See, uh, they were not forced to do that. Women had their choice to sleep with the prophet. So, uh, my friend, I, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who, who is talking about about forcing or not? We are talking about what kind of a prophet he make verses privilege about his penis, saying any woman she can, can give herself. What does that mean? The guy he have already thirteen wives. Why he need more women to offer themselves in the bed? What's wrong? This guy, he had no time to pray. He had no time to, to go in war. He had no time, but he had time. He had time to do boom, boom. Any woman she want to give herself. Why? What does this have to do with God? I already told you they lost their husband and they wanted to have a relationship okay. with Okay, if this is about the husband is die, if this is about the husband is dead, then the Prophet should make a verse for all Muslims. They can do that, not only him, but this was only a privilege to thee. 
Why it is a privilege only for Muhammad? Can Muhammad sleep? Okay, now we have more than a million women. They are widows in Iraq. Are you saying the Prophet, if he was there, he only is the one who can sleep with all those a million women? Is that possible? How many men, they lost their life during the time of Muhammad, killing his enemies, going in war? Muhammad, you are saying to me that Muhammad made a verse saying any woman no, no, she want to sleep with the Prophet. No, no, listen, listen. Mm, listen, no, listen. No, listen to me. You are making it like he uh, did some uh, something like terrorism. No, he fought for the uh, if he fought for God. You know, he wanted to establish true religion and all uh, because there was a lot of uh, pagan belief mm. uh, during the prophet's life, and, and he wanted them to follow the true God, the Abrahamic faith. So he uh, fought with them. You know, the pagans used to sacrifice their children and all like that. You Muslim, so you sacrifice children too. The, you uh, Muslim, you Muslim, you sacrifice children, don't you? Who said you sacrifice children? Okay, uh, if I show you the hadith, what you will say? I have a da'if hadith. Da'if hadith, what you will say? You will not accept it, right? You will say it's da'if hadith. No, no, it is not. See, thing is that yeah, the hadith is compared by humans. Mm. Quran is the so now, because, because, okay. Is, uh, so now, because it's compared by a human, so we don't, we don't accept it, right? No, no. See, you are twisting my word. I'm not saying we, we should not accept. It. I'm saying mm. we okay. should accept it if it uh, matches with the Quran. Okay. Well, and here we go. Uh, okay. Actually, it's not a hadith. It's a Quran, chapter eighteen, verse number seventy-four. Your God, he ordered Prophet Al-Khadr to, to slay a boy so he can be happy. Read it. And he is a Muslim boy. He is a Muslim boy. This is Quran. What now. is the point of this? And I'm not, I'm not getting it. Read it. Chapter 18, verse number 74. This is a Muslim boy. His parents are Muslim family. And he is just little a child. And the Prophet of Al-Khadr, he, he, he did the order of Allah by... by by smashing his head in the wall and slashing his head by a knife and play billy ball with it. This is Quran now. What we will do? We will reject the Quran now. See, uh, see I, what? See, some I think I remember this verse. No, no, listen. listen. Ah, okay, I'm uh, listening. I remember this verse. You remember it? Eh? Boy will grow up and he will become a non-Muslim and he will kill the Muslim. Okay. I think. Oh, yeah. he when when he grow up, he will become non-Muslim and he will kill the Muslim. Show me where it says he will kill the Muslim. Show me where it says that. Either you apologize for lying, or you apologize for lying because nowhere it says that this guy will grow up and became not a Muslim to kill Muslim. It says that he is the fear he might be. A disbeliever, he fear. He did not become a Muslim, not Muslim yet, and he did not kill anyone. And nowhere it says he will kill somebody. Show me where it says that. No, uh, the thing is that non-believer used to attack a Muslim, so they are trying to defend themselves. So Abdul, uh, what, uh, what Muslim I, defend I, I, himself? I, I, this I, I, guy I, I, is walking. Hold on, yes, 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 yes. This is not war. This guy is walking in a village. There's nobody war, there's no army, there's a kid praying with the poly ball with his with the children his age. And then Al Khadr he cut him and he slaughtered him and he cut his head and then he starts smashing his head with the wall. What war? This is a kid. And he's a Muslim. So why you sacrifice a Muslim child? And the excuse is you fear when he grow, he will be not a good Muslim? That's mean we need to kill all the bad Muslims before they grow, according to the Quran. And that would be stupid. There's millions and millions of Muslims today. They don't believe in Allah. They don't practice Islam. So now what we what you are saying to me, we in Islam, we have to kill them when they are children. And that is a children's sacrifice. Why you want to kill them? They are your, your children. Those are not the children of the enemy in the war. Those are your children. Uh, if, we, if we kill those children before they become non-Muslim, mm. they will go. They will go. They might go to heaven, right? My friend, hold on. They are Muslim. This is a, isn't it your prophet who says everyone is born as a Muslim, even a Christian child. What's wrong with you? 
So he, he is a Muslim already, and he is a, a child of believers. Read the read the Quran. You know the Quran. You claim that you know the the the, the story. Read carefully. It says, as for the boy, his parents were believers. What believers mean? They were Muslims, and we apprehended that he might impose upon that uh, 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 like in the time he will he will be not not a good person. He will be infidel. So how you kill a child? Just because maybe when he grow up, he will be bad. Isn't it you Muslim, you say, we should not, Allah will not judge you except by your sin? Where is the sin he did? He did not do anything. Even no, even no, Musa, no, he no, says, no, even Musa, he no, said no, to Al-Khadr, no, 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 even no, Musa no, said to no, Al-Khadr, no, no, you no, killed, no, you no, slain, no, hold on. No, Musa no, said, no, oh, no. Yes, yes, yes. Musa said, has thou slain a person no, innocent? Uh, you are a coward. I know. No problem. You can call me any name you want, but you cannot answer. This person is called, described by Musa. He is an innocent child. Read it. So why he killed him? He did no. not commit any crime yet. Did he commit any crime? This child. Listen, listen. listen. Hmm. Uh, this, uh, let, uh, let's let's say this child will grow up and he will become a non-Muslim, right? Okay. And yeah. And if, and after becoming non-Muslim, after he died, then he will go to hell, right? Okay. So if he, if we kill him while he was a child, uh -huh. then he may he, he he might go to heaven. Ah, right. so we killed him, guys. This is Islamic solution. We will kill our children, so they will go to heaven. You see the intelligence, super intelligent. So your dad, he should kill you when you are six years old. So you can go to heaven, Abdul, because now you are not sure you will go to heaven or not. Have you ever heard of a stupid so like this? Are, secondly, I, hold on. I, secondly, I, stupid I, Abdul. Listen, Abdul, listen. You, you have no idea you are talking to. You are talking to Christian Prince. Whatever you go, I will grab you from your tail. Isn't it your prophet? He says, even infant, he might go to hell. Yes or no? Yeah, I saw that word, but it was in Hadith. Go to Hadith. So, it says, Aisha, she said, Oh, this is a happiness for this child. He is a, he's a, he's a child of a Muslim family. Okay. He will be a bird amongst the birds of paradise. The Prophet said to her, Be an adventure, Aisha. Don't be stupid. Okay. It might be the other way. So what you are saying to me, if we kill him as a child, he will go to heaven when it's not guaranteed. The Hadith is in front of you. You are bringing me and I already told you that it is compiled by humans, so we cannot trust it. You cannot trust it? No, we, we can uh, see. So why you, you call it so why uh, you call it Sahih if it's not trustworthy? Why you Muslim you call it Sahih? So this hadith is fake and you Muslim you call it Sahih. That that is what I told you earlier. Mm, what you told that, me? Uh, what you told me? What you yeah. told me? Re remind me. I am not. Uh, you should, you should. No, no, no. Tell me. I, I, I forgot what you told me. Remind me, please. Please remind me. What? Your prophet made it clear. Your prophet made it clear. Secondly, secondly, do you have the right to kill a child who is a Muslim child before he commit a crime? Isn't it, this is against the teaching of Islam to kill a child he did not commit a crime yet? I thought that Allah He made an order to kill the one who killed, especially in the case of murder. The guy he did not do anything. How you punish him for not doing anything yet? He did not do anything yet. He's just a kid. If we go to the interpretation for the verse, you will see it, it says it clearly. Hold on. Listen. Hold on. No, no. I'm asking you. How you can that. kill somebody, how you can punish somebody for a crime he did not commit. The mic is yours. First, give me the words. I will look it up. What? Give me the verse. So all this time you are discussing with me, you do not know what verse we are talking about? Aren't you the one who told me I know the verse? No, I, actually you are trying to twist some, something, so I want to make sure that you are not lying. Uh, I have it in the screen, chapter 18, verse number 71. I read verse number 71 and 72. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. Waiting, waiting, waiting. By the way, you can call all the friends from Pakistan with you or from India. Call them, let them help you. Zakir Naik, he can help you. Yeah. 
Let me call Zach and Eric. Enter your read the verse. They take your time, no problem. Tararin, 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 tararin. Great surprise. Hey, don't, don't call me. Hey, uh, Zach and Eric. I have a, a Muslim from India. This guy, his wife, she's beating him now. What happened? He, he He's saying that the child he was killed. What's happening there? This guy is in zucchini, zucchini there. Let me, let me see. What? You let me what? Did you find the answer? See, uh, as I can see, you try to twist some words. Hmm. Like what? Uh, what words which so which were twisted? No, no. So they they knew that he might become a non-Muslim. Hmm. So. So what? If you if yeah. you wanna you 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 Muslim you you keep saying to us there's no conclusion in religion. Yeah, you, the prophet he said hold on hold on hold on just to show you just to show you how you Muslim you lie to us. Okay, let me ask you if somebody leave Islam should, should, if if somebody leave Islam if somebody leave if somebody leave Islam if somebody leave Islam shall you kill him? I knew you were trying to twist the word, so I expose you. How you expose me? People are laughing. Where you expose me? <laughs> Where? You just said he is going to leave Islam. So what? And how do you know he will leave Islam? Secondly, shouldn't you punish him after he do the crime? And in the top of that, ain't you Muslim? You keep quoting for us the Quran saying there's no conclusion in religion. So now because the child he will leave Islam, you kill him even if he's a child? No, no, you, you, you have been exposed. Let, let me prove you how you have, you have been exposed, right? Okay, go ahead. First, go ahead. you said that he child has not committed any crime, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So I I already told uh, I as, as I have read the source, it 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 tells that the child will become Muslim, non-Muslim, mm -hmm. and after after you know you know non-Muslim used to uh, uh, kill Muslims and mm -hmm. all. So Muslim, uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, no, no. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. So this child, he is a child of a Muslim family. Then in the future, he will become not a Muslim. And then after he become a Muslim, he will kill his mama. This is what you are saying to me, right? He will kill his mama. No, no. What? No, no, no. no. What? No, 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 no. His parents are Muslims. His parents is Muslim. He is born of a Muslim family. He is a Muslim child. And now the child, even Musa, he said, he is innocent. He did nothing. Read it. Musa said to him, you slain, you slain a boy who commit nothing. Why you killed him? Why you slain a person who is innocent? He's innocent. So what kind of religion you are killing a child of your own and he is innocent? And the excuse is maybe, maybe, even the verse says maybe, maybe when he grow up, he will be not a Muslim. Listen, listen. No, 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 listen. Uh, you already know that non-Muslim used to persecute Muslims, right? Abdul, what Muslim? What are you Muslim? This guy is a child in a village, and he is in a Muslim no, village, no, and no, the no, parents no, are Muslims. No, no, and now he is a playing. He is a playing with his football. He is a playing in his football. So imagine, hold on. Imagine you have a child, and he is a playing with the football in the front of your house. And then a guy, his name is Al Khadr. He walked by. He grabbed your child. He grabbed your child. He cut his head, and then he starts smashing his head on the wall. Justify that for me. What what I am trying to say is uh, see non non Muslims used to persecute Muslims. Do you agree with me or not? Who? Hello. Hello, non hello. Muslims used to persecute Muslims. Do you agree with me or not? The Muslim used to what? Non Muslims used to persecute Muslims. Do you agree with me or not? Non Muslim used to consider Muslim. What do you mean consider? Non non Muslim. Non-Muslims to persecute Muslims. Oh, the Muslim they used to persecute non-Muslim too. The Muslims, it's about who is stronger. Muhammad himself, he did torture non-Muslims. He stole their money. He raped their wife. He took their caravan 
and he became the biggest gang in history. So if you are saying that they did persecute you, well, here we go. The follower of Jesus, he have 12 of them. All of them, they've been slaughtered, killed, but they did not kill anyone. So what? Christians are persecuted until now in Pakistan, in India, and everywhere. Do we go after Muslim and we kill them? We don't. So what you are saying is a false excuse. Now we go back. This is a boy. He did not persecute anyone. He is born of a Muslim family. Give me a reason to kill him. See, they, Senor. They knew that he, he, he will become non-Muslim and after becoming non-Muslim... First of all, first of all, first of all, you are a liar like your prophet. Nowhere it says he will become not a Muslim. It says we fear. We fear he might. Does it say that? Read it. Read, read, read the yes, translation. Read I, verse, no, no. read verse number no, no. eight. Oh, no, 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 Abdul. My fingers, I have my five fingers over your, over the bum of your prophet and now they are over your bum. Show me where it says he left Islam. It says we fear he might. He yeah, might yeah, <laughs> read it. It says yeah, it says yeah, he yeah. he might leave Islam. <laughs> if you don't like the translation, we can change it for you. What translation you like? It says he might. We fear. We fear he might leave Islam. He did not leave Islam, and he is not sure. So now I can go to your house and kill your child, and I say to you, "Oh, I fear he might leave Islam." <laughs> read carefully. Read carefully. Verse number eighty, chapter number eighteen says, "As for the youth." His parents, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Were people of faith and we feared, we feared he would grieve them and abstain rebellion. You see? But he did not leave Islam. He, we fear, we fear, we feared, we feared. Do you know what he feared? The guy is guessing how in the world that can be from God. So now I can say, I fear that you, your child, will be a bad Muslim, so I kill him. Oh. Are you saying to me, are you uh, saying can, to me, if a Muslim can, now... Can you, can, you, be, can, you, can you give me one minute? Can you give me one minute? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Uh, mute your audio. Where are you going to mute your audio? Where are you going? No, what? no, I'm, I'm, uh, I, I need to drink water, so give, give me one minute. One oh, you minute. need to drink water? What water? Hold on. What, you're not allowed to drink water. It's Ramadan. What's wrong with you? Hello? Hello. One, one minute, one minute. Where, where are you going? So first of all, you have to drink Kamar urine, not, uh, you know, aren't you following the Prophet Sunnah? Why, why are you uh, water? What's happened to the Kamar urine? He's not drinking water, he's talking, you see? Talking to himself. Google, Google. I was asking his friend to Google, 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 Google. He said to me he would drink water, but he's Googling. Look, do you hear it? Google, Google, Google. Sunnah.com. Google. You see, he told me he won't drink water. The liar. You see, he muted me now. Supposedly, I don't. He don't hear me, and he think we don't hear him. Stupid. He said he will go to drink water, but he is asking somebody next to him. <laughs> you want to drink water? Google, Google. Let us may, may Allah help us with Google. Okay. Uh -huh. I want to drink water. Huh? I want to drink water. Mm -hmm. All of this is drinking water, by the way. I mean, do you have the water? This is water in Islam, by the way. When they say I'm gonna drink water, it's mean going to Google, search for tafsir. Ah, this is go. This is water. I'm gonna drink water. Hello. Hello. Uh, hello. Did you drink water, my friend? Did you drink water? Listen. Did you drink your water? Did you drink uh, your water? I want to no, I want to be sure that you drank your water. Are you okay? See, don't check the topic. Did you drink? Did, did, you, did you drink water? Did you drink water? Yes or no? You said you would go to drink water. Did you drink water? Yes, I drink water. You are a fraud uh, and you are a liar. We were hearing you, you idiot. You did not go to drink water. You were talking to the guy next to you, asking him to search Google, open tafsir, open Why you lie? 
You said you, yes, I drink water. This is how Muslim they are. This is how decent the Muslims are. We were hearing every word you were saying. You did not leave and you did not drink water and you were talking to the guy next to you. Why are you are lying? See, listen, uh, the, uh, what, what, see, what senor, see, senor, you okay. are you are a fraud like your prophet. Why you lie to us saying you want to drink water when the fact you are trying to search Google asking your friend next to you to open tafsir.com and hadith.com. Shut up. Topic, right? No, I'm not changing the topic. It's you who told me I want to I go and drink water. Why you lie to us? You did not drink water. See, see this, this thing has nothing to do with your topic, right? So why are you doing I have nothing to do with the topic. <laughs> Call me tomorrow. I'm done for today. With